What's up guys, welcome to episode 234 of Streamworld. Uh, today we're going to be building a shop um, in the city. Uh, so let's just get straight into it. Um, uh, I Vehicle later. Bankruptcy. <laughs> That's a reference from the office, I think. Right, here we are. Oh, my head hurts, man. Right, here we are, We're in the world, um, okay, um, just wait for everything to load in. Actually, let's just head over to the, uh, to the area. Also, I built this uh, yesterday, or the day before. I think it was, yeah, I think it was uh, yesterday. I built a floating uh, tower upon a cloud. Let me just show you it real quick. It's unenterable at the minute, but uh, I'll be working on making this an actual uh, real tower soon. Because at the minute, it's got a door. But the door cannot be opened and there's literally nothing inside. So, yeah. Alright, so. Um, I'm just trying to think of a place to build the shop. Because the city is a bit limited with space at the minute, which is quite impressive. But also pretty bad because uh, basically it means that I won't be able to uh, yeah I just won't be able to build anything more like I think this and this would be a bit too small so I'll build something else here um, soon but I think this spot will be all right um, hmm no nah, actually this this spot will be good let me just make some amendments so we just there we go right Yeah, I'm just changing a few things at the minute um, because why is this not? There we go. All right, because as you can see, this this is just not looking uh, not looking good at all. I mean, to be fair, no, 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 we could keep that there. That looks fine. That's looking fine. Look at all this room we've got now. I mean, to be fair, um, got to do something about the lava here. So, I've got a solution. I'll uh, block all the stuff like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll do. Just want to make sure the shop doesn't catch fire when I build it. So, of course, this shop is going to be located right next to Dunder Mifflin, uh, the office. Doesn't really look much like it, but if you if you remove all these trees and you get the angle probably about like that, you'll probably see some similarities. But uh, at the minute, the office is well empty. But to be fair, I might build it. I might build the office inside of there. Let me know if you want to see it because uh, it might take me a while. But yeah. So like this is the warehouse here, so I'm probably not going to build the warehouse to be fair, because I think that might take a bit too long. So let's grab the materials needed. So I want to build the shop out of deep slate bricks, mud bricks, um, what else? Quartz. Nah, quartz bricks. To I want to build the majority of the outside out of bricks. Just like that. Okay, so I don't have a specific. Um, I don't have a specific um, shop on my mind. But I do have a brand I want to use, and I'm not going to I'm not going to use the name, but I'm just going to use the colours instead. Uh, if you know which shop I'm talking about, it's because I work at it now. Yes, I actually got a job. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, got a part-time job at uh, Home Bargains, so that's why I'm using these colours as the. Uh, what you call it? Right, anyway, so let's let's begin building. I've got a good feeling this might turn out really well, but at the same time I've got a good feeling it'll... it'll uh, well, I've got a bad feeling it's going to turn out terribly. Of them. There's an orange one and there's an arctic one. Hmm. wonder if that's because of the biome I'm in. Or oh, wasn't. Actually, what biome is this? Is this is a snowy tiger, eh? Yeah, it's a snowy tiger. Also, if, if some of you are concerned about my previous stream, where I basically just vanished, like in the middle of the stream, even though the credits were rolling still. Well, basically, I just got bored of just watching the credits, so I just decided to play Super Mario Bros. 3 and, well, I better. I was on World 8 anyway, so I... Uh, had to take out a tank and then then do the final boss. Last night was quite fun. I uh, I was playing Minecraft, of course, but. Um, 
I decided to get downstairs because I was I was hungry and thirsty at the same time. So I so I ran the kettle, or turned the kettle on even, and I basically made myself a cup of tea and also made myself some noodles. Um, and yeah, it was quite nice. I can still taste the noodles now. Wait, no, I can't. It's gravy. Yep. This is going to be a partial issue. Ah, damn it. I mean, the shop's not going to burn down if I do this. So I think we'll be alright. Yeah, I was watching The Office last night as well. Um, I got up, I got up to the uh, sex education um, episode. And uh, Michael caught herpes from uh, one of his ex-girlfriends. So he called them all up, met up with a few of them and tried to figure out who it was, but he could not figure it out. So, yeah. Yeah, that was basically the entire episode. Uh, and Andy was showing uh, nudes to uh, the people in the office he even showed some uh, some people's nudes with diseases in which thankfully it was blurred out because otherwise it would have been very uh, the show probably would have got cancelled otherwise That's where quartz bricks was added to Minecraft in uh, 1.16, wasn't it? Do you know what's making me really sad about watching The Office? Is that I'm slowly, slowly getting closer to the episode where Michael leaves. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm on episode 7 of season 7 at the minute. So, and I swear, the episode where Michael leaves is 23 or 22. It's just quite sad. We're going to have no Steve Carell for the rest of The Office. Up until we get a cameo reference. Uh, not a cameo reference, a cameo of him. I'm not gonna lie, even though Jim was an absolute, like, asshole to, uh, to Dwight for the whole of The Office, I really think the end of The Office really pays off. I'm, like, really excited to watch it because, uh, well, it was the right decision for him. And, well, it just turned, it turned Jim from being Dwight's number one enemy to being 
Dwight's number one best friend. It's quite quite wholesome to have her. Because we've had a rivalry between uh, Jim and Dwight for ages. And just to see the pair of them get back together uh, as being best friends, uh, yeah, it's quite, it's quite wholesome to refer. I might stop doing snap streaks soon because I'm just getting bored of them. Like even though some of me and some of my friends have been doing it for ages, I just feel like now that I'm like now that I've got a job and now that I'm no longer going to be a teenager that basically does nothing all day, I think it's time to just move on from the things I used to do and start doing things that I should do, as in as kind of like a partial adult. Yeah, like, um, like, people started treating me differently recently. Like, not in a bad way, but, like, they've been treating me like an adult. I'm starting to think that because I'm turning 17 this year, that I need to start maturing more and not doing stupid things like, uh, well, snap streaks. To be fair, I might just uninstall Snapchat as a whole, to be fair. It's just not worth it. Because, uh, to be fair, I don't even know why I do snap streaks. Yeah, I just, I just don't know why I do them, to be fair. Because I don't see any amusement with doing it. So, yeah. Whereas with Instagram... I can post uh, pictures of what I get up to. Right, so. Yeah, to be fair, I'm going to be completely honest. I ran out of ideas um, <laughs> when doing, um, well, after the stream uh, that I did, like, like about an hour ago, two hours ago even. I ran out of ideas to do, well, of things to do. So, yeah, I, that's why I came up with building a shop. To be fair, working at the um, the shop yesterday was really fun. 
Like, uh, I met so many new people. I served so many customers. Like, I served probably about 30 of them, which was insane. For my first day, I served 30 customers. That is, mm, that is nuts. I, I did not expect me to be serving that many people in that day. But you know what? Got the hang of it really quickly. So, for something that I thought would be really difficult, just became light work in like seconds. And that's and that's when you know that you're working at a good shop if if in one day you know how to use a till or use detail even. I'm excited for tomorrow because I'm hoping I'll see D, um, Dina again because she was my supervisor. She was the person who told me, or well, taught me even, everything that I needed to know about, well, working at Home Bargains and what I need to do. She was that, that woman. I need to see that guy. Oof. But I'm hoping tomorrow that I haven't forgotten how to use the till, otherwise that's going to be very, very bad. But I am going to be taking a note, a notepad in tomorrow, and I'm going to be taking notes of things that I need to practice when I'm in the uh, the shop. Like for example, how to use the till and and basically how to create the the price tags. The yellow and the the white ones. Because once once I fit once I've got that feeling that I know how to do it like off by heart. Um, yeah, I could just tick it off and just forget about well, forget about writing about it, and then basically um, I'll be able to just walk into the shop, do my job without looking at any notes, and then just leave once my shift's over. So Can't wait for my hair to grow back, man. It's uh, it's been it's been twelve years since my hair was probably the the length it is now. It's been like twelve years, and it's gonna be thirteen years this year. Wait, hmm. no, it's thirteen years this year. No, twelve years this year, thirteen next year. But by by next year, my hair would have definitely grown back, and I. Probably, probably would have grown grown a mullet by then, which is my plan. Also, the Halloween party that um, happened on in one of the office episodes, it was quite funny because Angela turned up as a penguin and then in the end, well by the end even, she turned into a, um, she turned into, she turned into a, a nurse hooker or stripper even, or prostitute as you 
probably call it. Like she just, like she even pointed out, she was even saying like, listen, you know what I am. Just, and she just mentioned something else after that, which I can't remember. It's quite funny to be fair, because, uh, because it really turned on Dwight. You could tell by his reaction when he saw it. Funniest reaction ever. Yes, yeah, so these these bricks are going to be going along the uh, the bottom segment of uh, why is there a dirt block? No, nah, don't know. Anyways, I've done it. I've done the outer rim. So now uh, we don't really need these uh, anymore. So it's time to wait. Actually, do actually we do need these? Look at that. So now we're just gonna um, just gonna go around the rim. As I said earlier, I don't actually have a specific design for the shop, so I'm just building one right off right off the top of my head. And by the way, if I ever get fired from uh, Home Bargains, I will destroy the shop. I'll literally blow it up and just, or even like create like a little mini volcano in the center and then just like just destroy everything. But the likelihood of me getting fired by home bargains is going to be very slim because I am a very, uh, I'm a very good worker who probably won't break any rules. I'm only saying probably because I might break one on accident without me knowing, which I have done a few times. I've Well, not breaking laws or breaking rules or anything, but like, because I when I was on the realm, well, when I was on Bailey's realm, I, like this was like the first time I joined his realm. I broke a rule on accident, and he got really angry at me. But I didn't even know, so, so yeah, he got really mad at me for some reason.
All right, so there we go. So that's pretty much the walls done. I'm going to do the roof last because uh, I'm going to work on the inside now. This is, the, this is going to be the part that probably takes not that long. Okay, so let me see what blocks we've got to, uh, we could use as a floor. Oh, I got it. I'm not using sm smooth quartz, I'm just going to use quartz. So, uh, so we get that nice little checkered pattern. One thing I want to fix real quick is this. So there we go, look at that. Looking nice and fresh. Yeah, boy. Look at that. So we need to build aisles. We need to build uh, tills. Because if you're looking at the size of this, this is a very big shop. Like, almost like a supermarket. Right, so something I want to do is I want it so that when the shop is open, um, when the shop's open, there'll be like these bars that are like this, so so no mobs can just squeeze on through and can get me. However, when the shop shut, I want the I want these to be like across like that, right, I'm all well, basically everywhere. It'll be. Uh, closed off like this so yeah the sh when the shop is shut uh the bars will be like this and there'll be something placed around here to maybe like black concrete or something just to kind of indicate that the shop is definitely shut Yeah, never mind. I was trying to go for a design where all of these, uh, all of these are placed down, so it gives off that little, uh, it's that little like grey ring going around the the end rod. Wait, they're called end rods. Yeah, they're called end rods. All right, I got it right. Okay, so uh, let's. What shall we start off with? By the way, we can chip into the wall. Uh, not not all the way through, but yeah, we can chip into the wooden wall to uh, add, add some like bookshelves or something. Because that's what I'm going to be using for the shelves, uh, the bookshelves. And also, I'm going to use the loom as well. So if you've probably noticed that the loom looks like a empty bookshelf. But I don't really want to use a chiseled bookshelf. Actually, you know what? I do want to use a chiseled bookshelf. So, I reckon to start off with, we'll have... Gonna have some shelves up here. Yeah, I'm gonna replace a few of these with uh, the chisel bookshelf, but don't worry.
and we're here already. Look at that. So this is going to be the first aisle. So this is just the uh, the area that you you should come across. And, uh, Look at that. That uh, looks alright. Looks like some shelves are empty and some are full. Oh, right. Yeah, so all these are going to be normal bookshelves because they're, um, you know, double-sided. Whereas with these, these are against the wall, so these can be empty. However, I will include some against the wall that look like this, but from the back they'll be empty. So, yeah. Let's go down the first aisle. It starts to look more like a labyrinth than an actual shop. But just wait till I build the tills and then everything will start to look more like a shop than a, a labyrinth full of books. So yep, we're doing the same thing again now. Um, all the way along to here. Same thing again, just scatter them all over the place, just like that. Add a few more too. <laughs> Can't have any in the corners, just in case if I decide to branch these all the way down. So here's aisle number one. So just bring this all the way to here. have double shelves like like that like so that the the back texture of the chiseled bookshelf isn't shown could do that to be fair you know what yeah we will do that but only for the ones that don't collide with, well don't interact with the wall there's nothing on the other side because now what we can do is we can basically we can, we can fill the shelves, does double sided. That didn't make sense. Um, we can basically place uh, chiseled bookshelves on both sides. And doing this allows us to. Uh, allows us to basically have empty shelves all over. So we can just. Do this now. Moving nice and slow. Like this. Yep, there we are. Look at that. However, on the corners, I don't want any because it'll look a bit weird.
mean, it'd be good if we had, like, a completely empty shelf. That'd be quite cool. Like, where, where the entire shelf is just empty, like that. Oh, man. I've got to work at the shop tomorrow from 12 till 4. Yeah, I've told you earlier, but still, I'm just not feeling the greatest at the minute. I don't feel ill, but I just feel like shit. Like, um, I feel like, I feel like I'm going to like snap in half or something. Like any, any day now. I'm going to go for a stretch and next thing you know, I'm just going to snap my back. And my back's just going to break. So yeah, that's, um, so this is aisle one, and then we'll have multiple aisles. go look at that it's looking good um, so now just build some of the aisles like that yeah I've got a bunch of messages on my uh, my previous live stream the one that I was missing from for a while <laughs> There was some, there was, the majority of them were just emojis and some of them were saying you're doing good. Was I really? Don't think so, because I wasn't even there. So I don't really think I was doing good. But still, that little, um, that little uh, poem at the start was really cool. But those credits went on for way too long. Like, I was expecting, like, I was expecting them to end, like, and then, and then, like, that's it. But no, they went on for like an hour. Which in my opinion is just ridiculous. <laughs> also, why are there three book bookshelves? It's meant to be only two. Also, um, the episode where Andy does a play, that was probably the, the closest call I actually got to wake up my mum up in the middle of the night because uh, basically uh, Michael brought balloons to the play and basically they were making lots of noise and also um, Andy left his phone in his pocket and he left it on and someone called him so we had to improvise with the uh, project and also, Michael took a bottle of alcohol from the the table, where all the actors would get um, it from. And basically, he offered it to everyone, and everyone gave it back to Michael. But then Michael accidentally dropped dropped the bottle um, after he was trying to grab the balloons, which ended up floating <laughs> floated up in the air. So as the balloons were going up, the bottles just rolling down 
the, uh, the different chairs and areas. And next thing you know, when they try to continue, the balloons pop. And some people scream, and then a baby starts crying. And I kid you not, I nearly, I nearly cried at that scene. So funny. I was, I was literally tearing up with laughter. And yeah, I'm surprised my mum didn't like wake up, come into my room and say, quieten down or go to bed or something. But seriously, it was so funny. Um, I did watch it a second time. Because I thought I'd laughed at it again, but I didn't. I guess probably because I watched the scene twice and I knew what was going to happen. Uh, just wasn't really that funny. But still, when I first watched it, it really cracked me up. And yeah, I'd recommend watching The Office because, well, it's just something nice to watch other than some things that kids watch nowadays. But still, <clears throat> yeah. Right, um... What was it again? Right, yeah, we'll do do some extra aisles now. Like so. Yeah, this is starting to feel more like a labyrinth than a shop. Good damn it. Not asked. Good name to prefer. Uh, yeah, how you doing? Just building the shop. Nothing too interesting, but still. I just thought this world needs a shop. Right next to Dunder Mifflin. Yeah, this is starting to feel more like a library than an actual shop. Oh god, no. There's a door. Huh. Sometimes I just wonder if my streams actually get out there to the public, or are they trapped behind doors through the people who are subscribed? I'm just curious. What's all to be fair? Hmm. Guess we'll never know. But if I was taking a guess, I'd say they do get out there to the public. Because some people subscribe to my channel after watching the stream, which could have meant that they had never seen my channel before, so they were basically subscribing afterwards. Ah, oh, my mate Callum's coming around uh, in two more days. He's coming over for a sleepover, and we're just gonna we're gonna get up to some fun over the weekends. Well, weekend and Monday. On Tuesday he's going back. I reckon we'll uh, we'll probably go up go up town or something to Wolverhampton or Bilston or even Warsaw and we'll just have some fun. Just think is Callum is a uh, childhood friend who we've known each other since years not year six. We've known each other since reception. Well, we, kept, we became best friends in year six because Callum ran out of people to talk to as everyone kind of hated him in year six because he wasn't really the class clone anymore. So then he decided to uh, to stick with me. And ever since, we became best friends. Oh, 
also a little detail you might have missed, but has anyone noticed that the bookshelves are actually connected? And I mean perfectly. Like this is a normal bookshelf, like right here with the border. But then this one is missing the edges. I wonder if any of you noticed that. If you did, well done. And you deserve to use Optifine. Otherwise, if you didn't notice it, you probably don't even know what Optifine is, so just don't use it. There we go. Look at that. Looking good. But uh, still got quite a lot of uh, things to do. You know what? Get rid of that. The rest of this is just going to be normal bookshelves. Alright, it's time to make the tills. So, uh, hmm. So we need chairs. Oh, I'll use these as like the buttons. A little calculator thing here. Um, yeah, let's just repeat these. Um, and then this will be the uh, like the the management desk. Have all this, like, all this stuff. You know, all of, like, yeah, this is what I meant by we could, like, go inside the wall. Because, like, on the other side, it's just quartz. So, yeah. Just like that. So these are going to be the rest. Yeah, to be fair, yeah, this is starting to look more like a uh, a library than a shop. Hmm. I'm not renaming the stream. Ah, G G G G. Well, L L nine 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 L. <laughs> That's funny. Anyways, um. Something I want to do now is I'm going to add carpets to the the tops of here. So starting from here, just fill there to there. We'll do brown carpet. So wait, if I place it here like this, does it? Yeah, it does break. So I'm just going to pop over this other corner and. Just the way I wanted it. Here we are. And that's it. We're pretty much done with the shop. We just need to build the roof now. 
So, uh, so the roof is going to be quartz as well. So starting from there, slash fill from there to there, quartz block. Wait, what? Oh, oh, it did work. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it's going to be quartz. We we are going to develop the roof. Don't worry. So as you can see, where we head on under now, it's pitch black. It's quite ominous. But nothing to worry because, well, I've got a solution. So, slash fill from there to there. Fill it with light. Replaces air. There you go. Look at that. The shop is the whole shop is now lit up uh, with no lights, except for the fact there is lights, but you just can't see. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any lights here, so let me just. There we go, just like that. And nobody can see him now. We just back away and then the whole, whole thing disappears. So now, we're going to work on the roof. So, just real quick. Um, so, we need slabs. Like that. It, this is not going to be the final thing. Uh, we've still got more to do. That's just to cover the, the outer side. So, slash fill from there to there. Deep slate bricks. Yeah, that will do. Well, there you have it. That's the shop. <laughs> Looking pretty darn cool, if you ask me. I think I've done a good job. Anyways, but chest is itching, man. Genuinely. Ow. It's literally a red mark there now. Don't care. I'll keep scratching it until it goes. Nothing can stop me. Anyway, so yeah, that is the shop. You walk in and, well, I'm just going to place uh, that there, like that. Only so that uh, nobody can bypass. We're also going to add some gates as well. Um, None of the aisles will open, but are open even. So we're going to grab some barrier blocks and we're going to grab some glass. So if you didn't know, some shops have glass around their. Uh, things now like this because because of COVID and stuff but uh, yeah so there we are that's it we're done we are now finished with the shop, which I'm going to call Oh, one minute. Ow. Oh, gee, that really hurt. That's something stuck in my toe. I just got it out. 
Uh, I'm going to gladly call this place. Um, let me grab the sign. The blue one and the red one. I'm going to call it. We're going to call it Bargain. And all the way. Wait, no. We're gonna call it Bargain at Home. So it's like a it's like a parody version of Home Bargains. Actually no, I'm gonna call it Bargains at Home. Yeah, that's pretty readable from here, right? right. Vargins at home. But yeah, that's it. We've done the shop. Anyways, let's go update the map and then I'm going to end the stream. Because I've got other things to do. Uh, like... Like, uh, finishing my Roblox game. Which I'm working on for college. They actually allowed me to do it. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Yeah, we've got to update the map quite a bit to be fair. Got a lot to. Uh, a lot that has changed. See, yep, there's Dunder Mifflin. And so now, right there, those are the maps I need, I reckon. Also, by the way, we haven't got long until the doomsday clock goes off. Uh, it was scheduled for uh, the 14th of February 2024. What day is it today? The 9th of February. Ooh, what's going to happen? Is stream all going to end? Is something else going to happen? Who knows? But I'm not going to talk too much about it. Because all, well, all I will say is something will get destroyed. That's all I'm going to say. And just real quick, I'm gonna pop to the toilet. So yeah.
him back. Didn't take too long. Just checking what game I'm uh, playing on my Switch. Not sure what it's called, but it's like this pick to cross game with Mario characters. Um, yeah, turn the volume off because, respectfully, I wanted some peace and quiet last night about dis uh, disturbing my mum. And I guess we do need another map as well. Oh, crying, I've just got something in my eye. Ow. Right. I'm not sure my eyes are alright. I looked in the mirror earlier and they were a little bit pink. But, uh, do, do they look alright to you? Do they? My eyes look alright? I hope so. But, like, if I ever get something in my eye, my eye usually tears up to try and remove it. So, yeah. If something went to my eye, my eye started tearing up a bit. So that's why I was rubbing it. Just to remove the tears. <laughs> yeah, so you're probably noticing that, yeah. As you can see, there's a mountain inside of the... Um, oh, wait, this this is the top of the map. Huh. So beyond beyond this point, above, like towards the left and the top, I can't go any further, otherwise uh, I'm off the map. And it doesn't really count as... Well, stream mode. But again, there are some exceptions that aren't on that map, but are on a different map instead. Uh, like, like over in the uh, that area that I built, the spruce area, but it had a long bridge. Um, yeah, that's an exception because part of stream world is there, but uh, not all of it. We have dropped in the no armor. <sighs> but real quick, um, yeah, this this house is giving me giving me bad vibes to what they needed to me on on the realm. Re removes my freedom, and then claims something that wasn't even his, but was mine the whole time. And even Ethan said that that basically this needs to be uh, if this is destroyed. It's this can be destroyed because it's my property. As you can see, everything's pretty much the same, except for the fact I've got another cat, and these cats are all the same. But sadly, I can't interact with them because I, I paste, I, I tamed these cats when I was playing um, on the the Forge version of Minecraft, not Optifine, so it doesn't really count as me. Even though I'm technically the same person. But yeah, I'm just going to do some tidying up real quick. Like remove some gravel which used to be next to some water. If you don't believe me, I'll show you. If I break this, there's water. Look, it's an, it's an ocean. But to be fair, if you've got any ideas for what I could do for this little birch area here, let me know in the comments because I will, I'll consider it and I will, uh, I'll try and do something for it. Or if you have some build suggestions, just let me know because I am running out of ideas. But all I'm going to say is I am going to try to avoid building the same thing over and over again. So if you suggest me something I've already built, I'm probably not going to build it. But I could replicate it and still build it but change it slightly. But yeah, this is Streamworld at the minute. Not all of it, you can't quite see all of it, but still. I want to start doing a bit of work down here, like down towards the uh, south of, of this place. Because this place is awesome, not going to lie. You could take one look at this map and you'll be like, yeah, that's a year's worth of work. Because <laughs> all I'm going to say is, I agree with you. 
But you know what's really cool? I want to show you something before I end the stream. So if I go back to my house, I actually have something in my house which is very nostalgic to this world, but also very, uh, very cool. So here's my house. So yeah, I have this here. So this is what the place used to look like um, around the time that I created my my panorama. The illegal chest. Ah, that's funny. There's like 64 of everything. As you can see, you can't really uh, hear. If I, if I grab all these, like middle clicking it, you can't actually obtain 64 of all these items. It's just so funny. Like 64 eggs, max is 16. 64 snowballs, max is 16. 64 cross uh, bows, even. Yep. There's, there's a one bow. A debug stick, only one. It's just funny. But either way, uh, yeah, so as you can see, some things are technically still the same, like the fountain, the house, the. Uh, the DS with the plug going into it, the well, Bailey's house, or yeah, Bailey's house on the first realm, which uh, was still incomplete at the time. The boxing area, the moon, the earth, the tower, and then even a little island which I hadn't covered with grass yet. But when you look over at this map, you'll notice that everything's up to date. Like, there's the there's the fountain, there's the house, the DS, Luigi, which I'm still there, I forgot to mention, the block, boxing tower, uh, boxing area even, the tower, um, Bailey's house, the moon, the earth, yeah, it's all still here, but, well, everything that's on this map still exists here, but it, as you can see by some minor changes, to the areas to adapt to the new stuff that's arrived some things have changed also can we just point out that this sonic sprite looks absolutely amazing like not gonna lie it looks ugly from when you look at it from the normal area but when you when you check it from a map it just looks so cool it looks so realistic <laughs> like to a sprite it's not perfect but still it looks cool can't lie with that. Yeah, even the uh, the armor trim tower. That from the map it looks like an armor trim, but it's actually like a, a mini hotel. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So you can probably see it now. Now there it is, right there. That's what I meant. I said now, and you couldn't see it. You can see it here now. So like it's it's basically a tower. And then from the top, it's just an armor trim. When we head on inside, uh, yeah, it's just like, here's a reception. And then you go up the ladders to each floor. Which each floor is empty. And it's like this for the entire way up. Every floor is just empty. But yeah, that's it. That's We're done with the stream now. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.